It always surprises me when I'm using my iPhone and friends or work colleagues say, hey, I didn't know you could do that. Like when replying to a message from the lock screen, simply by long pressing on it. Or my favorite one, which is double tapping on the back of the phone to mute it and double tapping again to unmute it. I'll show you the double tap trick later on, but I'll start by showing you a few of the other shortcuts you can use by long pressing on certain apps. These menus are called quick actions and they've been around since iOS 13. But for some reason, most people don't seem to be aware that they exist or maybe they've just forgotten to use them. For example, did you know you can quickly take a selfie by long pressing on the camera app and choosing selfie? You'll also see there's a shortcut to record a video or take a portrait selfie which will blur the background. Another of my favorites is long pressing on Safari to quickly open a private tab or you can quickly access your bookmarks or your reading list. You'll find most of the Apple apps and many third party apps have these quick action menus. For example, Settings is another app that offers quite a few options. Here you can access all your different wireless connections, but I tend to use it most for accessing the battery and turning on low power mode. Another Apple app that has excellent shortcut options is Notes. Here you can quickly scan a document, add a photo to a note, or my favorite, which is quickly creating a checklist. If you use your phone as an alarm clock, then long press on the clock to create a new alarm, something that I do just before heading to bed. Another thing I try and do before going to sleep is if I remember, I like to update my apps. Long press on the App Store icon will take you directly there. As I said, quick actions are also available in third party apps. For example, if you're a Spotify user, then you can quickly access your recently played songs, playlists, or search for other songs. WhatsApp users also have a variety of quick action options. I particularly like the ability to share my WhatsApp QR code with friends rather than messing around sending them a link or searching for their contact details. These long press options aren't only limited to opening apps. I already showed you how you can long press on notifications on the lock screen to do things like replying to a message, but you can also long press when inside apps, such as on emails, where you get a whole heap of options and also get to quickly view the contents. This also works in the Photos app, where you can long press on individual photos as a way of quickly sharing them with friends. If you've navigated through multiple menus, long pressing on the back button will give you the option to step back through each individual menu, or you can skip all of them and go straight back to the start. This is particularly useful in settings. Long pressing on most of the icons in the control panel will also give you additional features. For example, you can set different timers, enable different focus modes, or set different levels of brightness for the torch. Finally, if you remember the back tap trick that I showed you at the start of the video, well, you can find that option in settings. Click on accessibility, choose touch, and scroll all the way down to back tap. Here you can set actions for double and triple tapping. So for double tapping, I set mine to mute the phone, but you can see you have an array of alternatives, including activating the camera and accessing the control panel. So having set your preferred option, go back to your home screen, double tap once to enable the option, and then double tap again to turn it off. So that is how to use quick actions on iPhone. If you found the video useful, I'd appreciate you giving me a like and hitting subscribe for lots more useful tips and tricks. And you might also be interested in learning a neat trick for reading articles that are blocked behind a paywall and an easy way to share your Wi-Fi password. Until next time, my name is Anthony. Thank you very much for watching.